Spiritual soul in the building. Geyser, geyser. Nature soul in the building, man. Simple. So listen. First thing first, I want to get straight to the point. I want to send my condolences. I want to send my condolences and I want to send some love and healing and just peace to anybody that was affected by Kevin Samuels in this situation that's happening with Kevin Samuels right now. I want to send some condolences and love to his fucking family, his children. Most definitely, he was a father. I want to send some condolences for the people who actually got help by him. I just want to send some healing to anybody that's affected by him and, and what just they just put out here as far as him passing away. Now, let me tell y'all this. People have said so many things about me. People call me clones. People say I'm this. People say I'm demonic. People call me the antichrist. People call me all type of shit. And nothing happened. It, it don't affect me. I don't, I don't care about it. It's levels to this shit. It be coming from niggas that's below me. I give zero fucks about it. It don't change anything in my beautiful life. Right? Nothing changed. It's like the more negative energy I get, the more love I get. Right? People have talked about my family. I have got death threats, etc. I still got nothing but just peace and I'm just perfectly fine. I went on fucking Twitter today. Do you understand? I have never seen so much hate and memes on a person passing away in my life. You would think Kevin Samuels was 6'9". If you go on trending right now on Twitter, it's nothing but bitches and random niggas talking about they happy that this man has died. Before I talk about his death, let's talk about this real quick. So, out of all the shit that I have received, people talk about my family, calling my mom, phone, address getting leaked, etc. I still thrive. No hate, I ain't sending no hate to nobody, I'm chilling. Right? But you got motherfucking people, and I guess, it, and I ain't gonna even just say girls, men and women, you ain't beefing with this nigga Kevin, he ain't pulled up on none of your ops, he ain't killed nobody in your family, maybe all he said was you was a fat bitch and you need to hit the gym, and you wish death on him because he called you a plate cleaner with no badges? Men, you mad at Kevin Samuels because he said you need a certain amount of income, etc.? You mad at a content creator for speaking his truth, which don't matter in life. It's his truth. It shouldn't bother you. You don't even have to watch. You, you, listen, you got that affected by a man speaking on relationship and what you should be doing in life to the point you happy that he's dead. Now, I want to ask you about yourself. For the people that's walking around with it, li listen, if you wish a person dead, that's like somebody did something to your family. Like this is beyond deep hate that's inside of you. Like this is beyond, like listen, if you wish up if you wish death on somebody, you want to see somebody dead. This is beyond a regular person. Bitch, you a demon. Bro, listen. If you go on Twitter right now, look at all these low vibrational bot ass demons, happy. Bro, and then you gotta ask yourself, if you go on Kevin Samuels YouTube, his subscribers are bothered, they sad. It's a lot of people talking about how he helped them. But if you look at what's trending about Kevin Samuels on Twitter and all the other news outlets, it's everybody bashing him. Do y'all see what the fuck the media doing to him? Bro, listen to me. Any person that's walking around right now with all this hate, you the only per when you hate somebody, you the only person that feel that shit. And normally when you hate somebody, it's because you ain't on your shit. Because if you live in your true purpose and you chilling, it ain't shit nobody can say that could come in your kingdom. It ain't shit nobody can say that could really affect you, especially to the point you want them to be dead. He called a lot of hoes lazy. He called a lot of men broke. He said a lot of shit about black, black females. Bro, these rappers talk shit about y'all 24-7. Y'all ain't shit but bitches and hoes. But all you do is twerk when he do that. Hey, twerk, hey. 
You sit there and twerk. These hoes making y'all hoes. You look up to Cardi B and all these thought ass females who is the reason why most men look down on y'all. Right? Y'all see how this shit is? Motherfuckers mad at an old ass man, Kevin Sanders. Rest in peace. If the nigga really did, cause I'm about to get there. Fuck is that? So listen, I just want to paint this picture. Bro, this day and age, focus on yourself. Don't tell nobody your plans. Don't open up for nobody. I don't give a fuck if this is your day one. Don't tell him shit. In this day and age, motherfuckers is using all type of people to trap your ass. These people online don't even know they soulless. They don't even know they ain't. Bro, listen, these people online ain't even human. To be laughing about a regular men dying and making memes. We in 2022, dying is a meme. Now, when I did deeper research on Kevin Sanders, I'm trying to figure out how the fuck, how the hell did Kevin Samuels pass away? And he just went live yesterday. This is a well-kept, he looked like a healthy man. He looked like he took care of himself. He well-kept to be his age. How did he just randomly die? And then y'all can't confirm it. And y'all not telling us how. So now we got to depend on TMZ and like the, the fake news, which nine times out of 10, if they come out saying how he died is fake. Let you know that right now. When, it, when the mainstream media coming out saying how he died, it's fake. If y'all ain't already came across a family member of Kevin Samuels or somebody explaining how he died and you waiting on the media to say it, when the media come out, it's fake. One of the things that I told y'all when Kobe Bryant passed away, you need to learn gematria. When it has something to do with deaths, learn gematria. Letters, numbers, rituals. Most of these celebrities don't be dead. And when you learn Gematria, nigga, you would be watching the NBA playoffs and they'll show you a little quick highlight or some stats of another player. If you learn how to break down Gematria, letters, numbers, A, B, C is easy as one, two, three. When you learn this shit, you got the keys to the universe. You have now mastered the ability to read through the deception that they be giving us on all of these platforms. Numbers, letters. All the numbers be attached to deaths. Nigga have 40, nigga have 42 points and 10 assists. If you add those letters and numbers up, 42 equals nigga in Gematria. Another thing, I, I ain't gonna really get too deep in that. You need to learn Gematria. When I was looking up Gematria with Kevin Samuels, his, the deaths, the timing of his deaths, the year he was born, the interviews he did with Future, all of this shit is attached to a ritual. I have seen Kevin Samuels doing this a lot. Is he a Freemason? Who the fuck knows? All these niggas be Freemasons. All these niggas is sellouts. That's why I said, why the fuck is people so mad at Kevin Samuels? He wasn't religious. He wasn't a truth seeker. He was just talking about the hoax. Who gives a fuck? And nine times out of 10, how the hell is all these girls mad at him? But all of y'all girls is the same ones who giving him all these donations, all these super chats. If you notice, Kevin Samuels got a lot of hate from women, but it's majority women that watch him. <laughs> I only knew from Kevin Samuels for doing my research on a lot of his shit recently, today and yesterday, and seeing viral clips of him talking about women. I will admit, Kevin Samuels was getting pushed to destroy women. Pushed by who though? I don't know. What made Kevin Samuels who he was, was the viral clips he had roasting women. He would tell a girl, if you not fit, you don't have a gym membership, and you don't eat healthy, you not worth being with long term. Facts! But a bitch who don't have none of that, they wish he had died because he hating on us. The last thing I'm going to say is this. Learn Gematria. I told y'all this when Kobe passed away. Y'all would have knew the truth about Kobe back then. This, this, this way, when one of your favorite celebrities die, you won't be affected by it because you know it's fake. 
You know it's a deeper ritual attached to it. We in the matrix, man. We in the matrix. It's not real. This is not the real world, bruh. Anyway, take care of yourself. Protect your energy. I've been on Patreon for the past couple weeks. I haven't been on YouTube. I've been posting strictly on Patreon. I just took a quick vacation for myself to get away from social media. And I came back when I found out this nigga Kevin Samuels just died. Time for me to come back and speak some shit. Anyway, take care of yourself. Don't tell nobody your plans. Keep growing. Keep growing. Keep focusing on yourself. Keep, bro, listen. What? Take care of yourself, man. I love y'all. Spiritual soul signing out, bro.